You ever had a problem like this? You just have too many things that are stored low, kind of on the ground, under shelves, sometimes they're heavy. You don't want to put them on a shelf, but you still need to slide them in and out from where they are from time to time. Well, there's an easy solution to this. I'm going to do it with some scrap wood that I got from a friend of mine who uh, refaced their cabinets and just had some extra cabinet doors left over. And these are them. Nice hardwood cabinet doors, they're about an inch thick. And I'm gonna put some wheels on them and make some low profile carts. So these doors have these little plastic inserts for holding the screws that, that held the hinges on. And they don't come out with a pair of pliers. They have this little extra piece on them, that this little cone that sticks up. Those That just pops right off and leaves you with this little short thing sticking out. You can't get a hold of that with a pair of pliers. So what I'm gonna do is take a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than the size of the hole that the insert is in and drill these out. Just like that. And there's another one. Well, with all the inserts drilled out, my next step is to lay out the wheels. Where are the wheels gonna go? How are they gonna fit? Kind of like that. Certainly don't want them like that. I don't, I don't get a screw in the one hole. So they're all going to go kind of like that. That's how they'll be oriented along the corner. Just like that. Just like that. And this one's a little different because there's the handle. But I think we got enough meat, we can just go right there. So that's what it's going to look like. Just like that. So the way I'm going to attach these wheels is with these little sheet metal screws. And they're kind of nice, they have their own little drill bit on them, self-tapping. And they've got just a little bit of thread on them. There's not much there, but it's going to be enough to hold these wheels on. There's not going to be any pressure trying to pull these wheels off. It's going to all be downward force. And these screws are going to pretty much just be pegs holding the wheels to the wood. And I think that's going to work out just fine. So I'm going to use an impact driver to run these screws in. Get them pretty well centered in the hole. That's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. I put in the opposing side, the opposing corner. Oops, let's straighten that thing out a little bit. All right, not going anywhere.
Now I'm going to test it out on this one crate that's got some sand and grout mix in it. So oh, that's probably about 60 pounds. And that's perfect. That'll do. Now I just like to use what kind of stuff I have laying around the shop. And for this other one, I don't have any of those flat mounted wheels left. So instead of going to the store and buying more of those, I'm just going to use these. And I'm just going to drill a hole and put them right there in the corner, probably an inch and a quarter or so in from each side. And they look like they'll stick out maybe half inch on the top. But we'll see what I can do about that. I might end up epoxying those and uh, cutting those off. Now I wanted to make things nice and easy, but I got my digital caliper out. And as you can see, it's having an issue. I can't get it to do anything. I can't get it to, what did it do? No, nope, it didn't do anything. So now it just keeps rolling the numbers. So I'm just going to use the non-digital side of this to measure these wheels and see what I can come up with in a drill bit drawer that matches that. So I came up with this drill bit that's just a little bit bigger, just a tiny bit bigger, and that's exactly what I need so I can epoxy these in. Uh, but I'm going to give this a shot, see how it comes out. I'm going to lay out these holes with a square so we can get them all in the same spot. So this is, looks like an inch and a quarter. there right there right there there. Okay, I like that. I'm going to take my pin punch and mark all these so the drill bit will have an easy time getting started. Test fit. Well, oh, nice and snug. I like that. These might not even need epoxy. Okay, not a whole lot of tear out on the other side, so I'm just going to leave that how it is. Yeah, I kind of like that how it is. So let's see if one of these containers fits on there nicely. Well, not exactly. But that's okay. So I think I can just put a couple of pieces of three-quarter plywood 
in there like that, and it should work just fine. And I don't need any kind of a solid connection for these, so I'll just tack them down. And those didn't go all the way through. They're in there good. So I think we're done. Keeping things organized and accessible in a small shop like mine can be a challenge. But when you make these little carts on wheels, this helps get the heavy stuff out of the way. Anything that you're going to store down low, just rolls right out of sight. Piece of cake. Hey, thanks for watching my video. And if this gave you any good ideas, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see what else I've got going on. I'm always working on something. Thanks and have a great day.